London's welcoming. Its snowing worldly grin was frayed of life like fragile smoke was on wrinkled, crooked streets that's etched across its aged old face that's known with shames and faiths. Balances their weights with ease and that smiles dignity, that smiles disease. We craved a new Jerusalem. Instead, we built a London from powdered pavement slabs carved by piss and politics and lovers down cries and the lies. Sipping sugared liquors, oblivious to all that, all this shit, shit, shit that keeps happening. The rats scrabbling, the trite imaginings, the stuff that freedom brings, the stories of the winds. Ink spun thin across the newspaper's face, resolves inside the eye of the throng of passers by. Pictured, painted, and end. An unnamed 11 year old, three soldiers, four protesters, what the bombs and bullets really do. Thanking God that it's not you, or something that you saw, or something that you knew or could have meant. Ease into a comfort of denial. Life is pain. Life is trial. We pass by the new stalls, return to the business of running the world, we pretend we control. It's how we are removed. You're nobody to me, I'm nobody to you. A multitude of residue, the actions of a chemical soup, divided into fractions, explaining our distractions to the crimes, our appetites condone. Closed eyes hypocritically bemoan the madness that is shown. Deny there is our own turn, head for home, unaware of where we are going. But London is asylum, a shelter from alone and gathering like the salt crust gets the tide crest of the foam. That's how I can forgive it. The way it shames its grace, the way it keeps me living in no other place, the way it kills its victims, the way it picks them clean, the way it melts their bones down to a powder, gasoline, the powers of its furnace, the slightest touch of hell of a city that is holy and profane as well. But London is my lover, though it treats me far from well. It makes up for its failings.